how to make yourself famous on YouTube. If you want a shot at getting famous on YouTube, you've got to express your unique personality and show some love to your subscribers, of which I have none. <laughs> uh, forming a genuine connection with your audience and being yourself will put you on the YouTube radar. Um, how am I myself? I mean, most of the time and I'm antisocial and probably sleeping, so, you know, being myself would be sleeping on the bloody camera and that wouldn't really be fun, now, would it? Um, so, I'm not going to even bother with that. Part 1. Creating a bus. Be culturally relevant. Um, if you make videos that are related to news or pop culture items that everyone's talking about or looking up online, you'll have a better shot at getting famous. Stay in the know of your favorite subjects and be willing to make and upload videos within a day or two of the breaking news. You never know when your vi video will be the one to spiral towards success. Seems fairly reasonable, nothing wrong with that. It's not even actually that particularly dickish. But that's still kind of strange to me. Be culturally relevant. <laughs> I have cats. <laughs> Give me subscribers. <laughs> because cats are always relevant, aren't they? Also gaming, I guess. You know. There, watch that. That's me gaming. You like it? I better get subscribers from this. <laughs> Turn. Part one, um, sub part two. Make video responses and parodies. Take a famous YouTube video and create a response or give it a hilarious twist. Responses and parodies are hugely popular and a great way to capitalize on the other people's success. Your video will pop up when people search for the famous video. The creators of the original video love responses and parodies because they catapult the originals to even greater fame. Be sure to use the right tags so your videos doesn't get lost in the internet either. Doing an auto-tune version of a famous video is an easy way to crack your viewers up and create an instant hit. Yeah, parody is sure they're fun, but I refuse to make a parody. Because I refuse to bloody sing and I don't have an auto-tune. I suppose I could do it, but you know, still. That would kind of be, you know, um, creator content all that, and um, I really don't want to be flagged, you know, for my first bloody video on this channel. So, you know, I'm not going to do that. Just, I'm going to leave the whole music thing alone. I'm not even going to touch it. Thank you. Right. Um, part 1, sub part 3. Meet people in a person in person, sorry, at YouTube gatherings. People will be more likely to subscribe to your channel if they meet you in person. YouTube gatherings are held at over the world and they're a great way to get some attention, make friends and boost your popularity. When you meet people who have subscribed, thank them and make an effort to get to know them personally. And preferably not antisocial, but you know, that's besides the point, you know. Sub part 4. Collaborate with famous YouTubers. Again, um, Please don't be antisocial, so I'm gonna skip this one. You can read it if you want, pause the video, I'm just gonna skip, because there's nothing interesting there. 5. Get a video featured by a YouTube editor. If you have a standout video, you might have a shot at getting featured. This could definitely catapult you into fame in a matter of days. Yeah, but how do you get people to you know, actually feature your video on their channel? I mean... <laughs> Am I supposed to just show it down their throats, you know? <laughs> Spam their email. Hey, here's my video. You like it? Post it on your fucking channel or I'll fucking kill you, man. <laughs> what? No. I'm not gonna th threaten people to, you know, post my video on their channel. I know this isn't what they're saying, but how else am I going to get their attention? I mean, come on. <laughs> it's, it's. I understand what they're saying, but still, it's a bit unrealistic. 6. Relentlessly add new content. If you consistently produce interesting videos that off offer original content and are relevant to your viewers' lives, lives, you're eventually going to get recognized. Don't give up if you aren't famous after a few months, or even a year or two. Be passionate about making videos and participating in the amazing online community that is YouTube, and you might just end up getting famous. Well, I mean, when are you famous? I mean, I would be happy with, say, 100 subscribers. That would still be more than, you know, what I'm expecting. So, you know, that would be really amazing, by the way. <laughs> Just 100 people. Imagine, like, half of them commenting on a video. Holy shit, that would be amazing. Oh. 
I'm so wet right now. <laughs> God. Uh, I hope I remember to edit that out because that really wasn't appropriate. Uh, part two, sub part one. Make your channel look impressive. Uh, I think I got that covered. The way your channel looks can make or break the success of your video, so be sure to it adds to the allure. 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Create a catchy channel name. Yep, catchy as fuck, mate. And add a channel art to get things started. I'm a bloody bo bowling ball. I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm beautiful. Add a short description to your channel to give viewers a glimpse of the kind of content you're offering. I have no idea what I'm offering. I'm just... I'm literally reading a how to make yourself famous on YouTube guide to YouTube itself. <laughs> this part is important. Without the right tags, no one's going to find your videos. When you upload a video to your channel, choose tags that are as descriptive and specific. You don't want to use the exact same tags as everyone else because your video will be get b buried that way. Choose keywords that apply to your video. Don't mislead viewers with a keyword that's not really relevant. Use both broad and specific tags to get the most views. Tag with the names of people you mention, keywords related to events you talk about, and so on. It's actually going to be a pretty clickbaity video, isn't it? <laughs> I'm guessing the title is something along the lines with how to get views on YouTube or something. And seeing that many people do want to know that, People are going to get pretty disappointed when they see this, aren't they? Uh, it is actually a pretty terrible video to make. Huh? Good for me. 3. Promote your videos only among people you know. If you don't have a relationship with someone, don't ask them to watch or link to your video. This is a fox pass in the world of YouTube. Instead, work the relationship you already have and let them, the view, view, viewership build naturally. It's not going to happen overnight, but with persistence you'll see your views going up. Share your videos via other social networks like network like network like Facebook and Twitter. Never spam people so you don't you don't know with links to your videos either on their walls or in their comments. Yeah, I actually see quite a lot of these people, you know, just like, oh hey, I, I roast I roasted PewDiePie, can watch me video or something. They're really irritating, and I... <laughs> and to be fair, I suppose they do work. I mean, you see it, and you might think he's a dick, but you'll probably still check it out if there, you know, sounds interesting. At least many people do. I, Or my friends, at least, I don't know. But, you know, they might not get subscribers, but, you know, they get dislikes and views. So, you know, that's the most important thing to them. Because views equal, you know, traffic on your site, uh, web site, sorry, on your channel, and, you know, that, that brings exposure to you. Right, four. Talk to your subscribers, of which I again have none. To gain popularity, respond to each and every person who leaves you a comment. This is a good way to start building new relationships with your subscribers. If anyone leaves you a nice message, respond. If they ask for advice, give it. Be genuine and friendly, and you'll attract more and more people. Here are a few other good ways to interact with your subscribers. Friend a subscriber who friends you. Who friend... Is that... Is that friend subscribers who friend... Oh yeah, on, on Facebook, of course. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Spread the love to, to other people. Get a Twitter account and follow people who have followed your YouTube channel. Interact with them as much as possible. That does seem very nice. Again, you know... You first have to get a couple of subscribers, but again, that's besides the point. <laughs> 5. Watch other people's channels. YouTube is a community, and if you want to be popular, you need to participate. Interact with other people on their walls, via messages, on Twitter, and in any other way you can. Give genuine positive feedback. Make sure you actually watch videos before leaving a comment. People will know if you're being fake, especially if you pass. Spam, spam them with a link to your channel. Keep your own viewers in mind when you engage with other channels. Like videos you think your viewers will be benefit from. Link to videos that will enhance your channel too. Yeah, that's actually, you know, 
That's genuinely pretty good advice, I think. 6. Make new videos at least once a week. To keep people coming back, you need to update your channel frequently. If possible, do it on a schedule so people will know they can expect to see new content on a certain day. Make videos that are consistently high quality and offer something original every time. In between new videos, spend time liking other people's videos and promoting other content so your subscribers will have something to keep them up, up, uh, occupied with until your next video is ready. Keep engaged with your subscribers through the week, not just on the day you post videos. Right? Yeah. Again, this is fairly obvious, you know, <laughs> to make videos so people come back to, to watch them. I mean, that's isn't true what they're just saying, and yes, that's, that is generally pretty good. Pretty good advice, I gotta say. Um, mm -hmm. By the way, I wonder if many people actually, you know, schedule their days according to YouTubers' uploads. I mean, I know some people do it for TV shows and stuff, but I wonder if it, it's the same to YouTube. I mean, surely there's someone, but is it as popular to schedule your, you know, <laughs> schedule your days and plans around YouTubers? Actually, it might even be possible because I mean, YouTube is pretty popular these days. Uh, I, I'm not sure if there, there are more people watching YouTube than there are watching, uh, you know, TV. But yeah, I should look into that actually. Uh, I suppose I'll post some link in the description over some study or something. Uh, we'll see. Uh, three sub one. Be the real you. Viewers can will be able to tell in less than ten seconds whether you're being genuine in your videos. Are you funny, intense, or sweet and bubbly? Whatever your unique personality traits might be, show them off in your videos. The same way you'd be yourself with your family and friends, you need to be you in your videos. Otherwise, viewers will look everywhere for authenticity, else, uh, elsewhere, sorry, for authenticity and entertainment. Well, first of all, um, I sleep most of the time, so is the real me a sleepy me? So should I just record myself sleeping? Would, would that be fun to watch? I mean. You're going to be nervous the first few times you make a video. That's normal. If it helps, think of the camera as your friend, sister or brother. Joke around or get deep in the same way you should. You would with someone you trust. That's a bit dumb, actually. Sort of, in my own opinion, because <sighs> being deep with, like... Okay, let's say you have a large channel, like, let's say... Um, uh, well, I mean, we'll say 10,000 subscribers, just, you know, because that, that's still pretty large. And you start telling them about your bloody dreams or something. Um, sure, people might get interested, but doesn't that... Isn't, isn't that kind of strange? You know, you're telling people you have never never heard of before, never seen before, never met before, things about your personal life you might not actually even tell to your, I don't know, girlfriend, friend, um, boyfriend, mother, for that matter. I mean, about um, illegal stuff. You sometimes you have people on the YouTube, going on the YouTube, on the net, talking about some illegal stuff, like, oh, I smoked weed yesterday or something. And that's not generally something you'd say to your mother. So, you know, eh. Your viewers will relate to you even more because they'll see you as human. Oh, I didn't know that. I just thought, you know, literally every YouTuber ever is just a computer behind the screen, just randomly talking. Because that's what robots do. I'm not funny. I'm not funny. Why am I doing this? Uh, part 3, sub 2. Offer something great to your audience. If you look through the most popular YouTube videos, you'll see that each of each one offers something interesting. Some offer amazing music, others offer thoughtful advice, and still others offer a few minutes of hilarious entertainment. What are you going to offer to people watching your videos? Keep this in mind. My mind. Mind with every video you make. I have a cat. Singular cat. I am too afraid of using internet pictures because copyright strike, so... A cat. There I go, that's my cat. That is what I'm offering to you. Give me subscribers. What's your area of, of expertise? Your own life is a good place to start. Offer advice based on what you've experienced and how to like how to become the most popular girl in school, how to kiss, how to play guitar, how to build a robot, or how to straighten curly hair. I know none of these things. 
I know they're just examples, but you know, still, I don't. I, I can't do them. Nope. Offer opinions. What's your take on world politics, pop culture, news, sports, music, etc.? Mm. I mean, feminism is cancer. There we go. <laughs> Offer something that will make people laugh. Tell jokes. Show your pets and there we go. Pets antics. There we go. My cat. Parody someone else's video or do impressions of a famous person. By the way, what about gaming? You guys like gaming? I like gaming. Let's do a bit of gaming for you. You like it? Good. Three. Speak up and make eye contact. I refuse to do that. Just like you would in front of any audience, you need to speak clearly and make your eye contact with your YouTube audience. It's actually pretty funny. I was um, we, we were having we were having we were we were having we were having. We were having in our classroom, you know, a presentation. You know, everyone was supposed to present the book or something, and some people asked if they could just sit under their, you know, table and just speak from there. And it was apparently okay. So, so in front of any audience, doesn't really, it doesn't really apply to this scenario, does it? So it led to some people legitimately doing their presentation from under the bloody table, and you could just hear someone speaking from somewhere. <laughs> it was actually pretty humorous, but you know, I understand what they're saying. But again, it's not. It's. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I just can't do this. Yeah. Look directly into the camera and enunciate your words. I have no camera. I refuse. Four. Have good video quality. This is YouTube, so no one's expecting your videos to be perfect. But if it has terrible lighting and bad sound, people are going to click away. Well, that's obvious, I guess. The best way to have a good video quality is to use a decent video camera. Again, I'm not going to record myself. Some phones come with a pretty good video feature, so this shouldn't be too hard to do. No matter what kind of video your camera you, you're using, do the following things to improve the video quality. Turn on lights for indoor videos. This will brighten the picture and make everything look more colorful and interesting. Experiment with turning on lights placed in various parts of the room until you're satisfied with how your video looks. Make sure your face and features are clearly visible in your organization. I'm not going to record myself, so this doesn't really apply to me. 5. Edit your videos. I think I've been pretty good. Use Movie Maker or another type of video editing software to boost the quality of your videos and make them look a lot more interesting to watch. Aim to edit the, them down to about 4 to 5 minutes. I have recorded 20 minutes. Um, well, um, <laughs> that's it for this video. Thank you for watching about. <laughs> Darn.